Hey guys, today we'll be talking about gratitude and its role on our general life and on our insomnia recovery journey. And I received this question from uh, one of my Patreon supporters, Sarah, and this was a really nice question because I understand that uh, throughout the journey uh, you might uh, came across su such practice as you know gratitude, and it's been uh, uh, it seemed like uh, you know this practice could be uh, the key to uh, you know resolving a lot of problems in our lives. So it kind of starts making sense to apply it on on insomnia itself. So I want to kind of expand on that. And before I get to uh, I get uh, I get to the connection, the role of gratitude practice on insomnia recovery. I want to really dive deeper into the concept of, of gratitude as such, and some of the hidden difficulties that we might experience with that. My personal relationship with gratitude was a bumpy one. I also was reading a lot of articles, and I saw in some books uh, how um, gratitude was perceived to be uh, the, the core practice if you want to achieve wealth health if you want to improve your relationships and so on so it seemed like you know i have to uh, be grateful otherwise i cannot succeed so i was really uh, i was sold on this idea uh, and uh and and i started kind of practicing it and if you probably also encounter this uh, practice where you write down in your journal like three or five things that you're grateful for this day uh, so i was doing that and uh, I was doing it for some time and uh, at some point I started noticing certain friction with this practice because uh, many times I couldn't actually feel the actual gratitude so it was more like a formal journaling uh, habit and after some time of doing that I realized that it makes me more frustrated I feel like I should be feeling grateful or feeling great by now or achieve certain results and I didn't see those results so I, I became very frustrated discouraged and soon I would ditch that practice of course then I would start again and then again ditch so it was kind of on and off relationship with it but my struggles ended once I understood the the source of gratitude where this gratitude comes from and it made me believe that gratitude the true gratitude is something that that comes naturally to us so we don't have to force ourselves in order to feel gratitude and if we feel that we need to we have to force ourselves to feel gratitude then most probably what we are practicing is not gratitude it's more like a waste of time and just to kind of like explain what i mean by that what i mean by you know gratitude is is like is a natural or like should come without any any resistance uh, without any barriers imagine the situation where you you go you wake up in the morning and you decide to grab a cup of coffee in your favorite coffee place so you go there and there is a person in front of you uh, and this person buys a coffee and probably he had a great day uh, and he just felt like doing some nice things for others so this person decides to buy you a cup of coffee without expecting anything in return so just like a pure act of kindness or uh, towards you know strangers so this kind of stranger buys you coffee in that moment what kind of emotions do you feel i bet that one of those emotions would be gratitude and this gratitude would come so naturally. You don't have to rationalize it. You don't have to make any, you know, any journal practice or so on. It will just happen. It, you, you literally don't have to do anything in, or, in order to feel it. And then take another situation or, or think about everything that you have right now in your life and uh, uh, notice that how it's less obvious or less like trickier to feel the same kind of like effortless gratitude towards things that you already have or towards towards things that that uh, happen to you on a daily basis and the difference between those two uh, kind of situations where the first one creates this kind of effortless gratitude and the second uh, you know your things that you have uh, seem like you know um, seem like so ordinary that it's really difficult to feel grateful or feel the true this emotion of gratitude the reason there is that what happened in that coffee shop it didn't have to happen yet it did and it made you feel good 
So there are no expectations towards a stranger to buy us any coffee. They don't owe us anything. They, they didn't have to do that. And yet they did. So here in this kind of situation, we, we know that no one owes us anything. It's like it didn't have to happen the way it happened. So we feel like it's a, it's a true gift. We truly were not expecting it. We were not, uh, we could easily accept other outcome, which is, you know, a stranger in front of you buys coffee for, for himself and just goes away and you buy coffee for yourself. That's absolutely normal, acceptable outcome for you. And when things get like particularly like, uh, you know, uh, in a nicer way for you, that's, that's with, with that kind of like lack of expectations, uh, gratitude comes naturally to you. But look at the things that you currently have now, things that happen uh, uh, to you on a daily basis. And most of, the th most of the time, what we might notice is that we feel like uh, we are entitled to, uh, to have those things. Like they, th those things are something that obvious that was supposed to happen. But here's the truth. The difference between uh, that stranger situation and the things that you have currently in your life has exactly the same level of control that you, you, know, that you are actually having which is like a very little fraction of control here, meaning that we can control our actions. So me talking to you right now is my, you know, is an area which I somehow can control. But what I cannot control is that how would you react to that? If you would like this video, if you would like to leave a comment on it, and you know, uh, if I would make it as, you know, uh, I would um, uh, be in that illusion that you know, I make something, some video and, you know, you, you do some, some actions towards it. So anything that I will be receiving would be perceived as something like, yeah, that was my area of perceived control. I made a video, I get the, I get the results. So some sort of like an illusion here. And I perceive this as something that, yes, it was granted to me and I don't have to really, you know, uh, do anything about it. But when you keep in mind that none of this has to happen, same like with things that you own like look at look at like whether it's material stuff whether it's a relationship whether it's your you know your parents your uh, kids uh, your spouse your work none of this that you have right now had to happen not like nothing the world doesn't owe you anything uh, the government doesn't owe you anything other people don't owe you anything your parents don't owe you anything weather doesn't owe you anything so understanding that there is not so much control can really unlock this appreciation of things that you have now because none of this like look at things and acknowledge that the other reality could be also possible it could be that you wouldn't have these people in your life or these people would be different so knowing that that it didn't have to happen or it doesn't have to happen the way you expect it is the key to unlocking this gratitude without it you, you, can, you can say as mantra to yourself, like I'm grateful for you know, my arms, that I'm, I can walk and so on, but you wouldn't truly appreciate it, you wouldn't truly feel that gratitude because there is this lack of understanding that this thing that you actually have, they were, didn't have to happen and the world doesn't owe you to have these kind of things. I know this kind of sounds like a very hard truth, but this is the truth. And sometimes this kind of like a bitter, uh, bitterness of that understanding can really set us free and, and unlock a lot of like uh, emotions that we want to, you know, be experiencing more of. So how can we uh, use that insight, unlocking uh, gratitude on our insomnia journey and whether it actually makes sense? You might have seen my previous video, one of the previous videos where I was saying that uh, how um, sometimes it's actually easy to take for granted our good nights because it kind of creates the lack of, or I would say it create, produces neutral reaction to good nights that leads to neutral reaction or bad nights. And when we don't have any reaction, then we don't have any problem with insomnia. Uh, and this is where I find this gratitude becomes very tricky when it comes to insomnia because sometimes it can turn into uh, this kind of fake gratitude the very technical one when we do it with a hidden intent so that I want to feel I want to practice this gratitude but in return I'm expecting that it will lead to peaceful sleep 
But again, just like with anything else that I just, you know, I was discussing, like we don't have control over like a lot of things in our lives. We don't have control over sleep. That means that gratitude, by practicing gratitude, it doesn't mean that sleep will come. It, it has no nothing to do with it. So acknowledging that, you know, that um, uh, you, you might, you know, try to feel grateful and so on, but yet, you know, the outcome could be different. Uh, and knowing that, that or, or kind of seeing this kind of pattern in yourself that when you make your gratitude very conditional one, meaning that I will be grateful for that as long as I see certain outcome, just know that this is not really a true gratitude. This gratitude will lead you uh, down the rabbit hole where you would feel more frustrated. So if I, if I can share my experience here is that at some point I also try to apply gratitude on my recovery journey, but then I, I realized it doesn't really help me. It only leads me to the rabbit holes, but it doesn't mean that you cannot uh, practice gratitude on, on your journey as well. And if, if that's your kind of decision, if that's what you want, I would say that uh, a good approach here is to be grateful uh, not for you know for a specific like outcome, but more again acknowledging that the, the the basic truth about gratitude that things that you have in your life they didn't have to happen that way. That's kind of like the must have uh, when 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 it comes to practicing. So that means let's say you slept well and you want to kind of like you want to practice gratitude so you can feel the gratitude it's absolutely fine while knowing that it didn't have to happen good sleep didn't have to happen and in fact if it wouldn't happen that wouldn't be a, a disaster either it would be still okay even if that good sleep wouldn't happen so this kind of like very pure pure form of gratitude knowing that you know the other outcome might not happen and that's okay is something that can actually be helpful in your recovery journey, but it takes a lot of awareness at that uh, of that kind of like um, uh, I would say like possible traps our mind can get into. So think about the same with uh, with a, a situation at the coffee place where you know that that that's where the pure, pure grati gratitude comes from you know like you someone did good to you and you feel grateful but you also know that if, if even if it wouldn't happen it would be still fine same with sleep you might feel grateful for you know for your um like whatever happens on your way but no always keep in mind that it didn't have to happen and you would be okay if, even if it wouldn't happen so in this case we can really uh you know practice gratitude without uh, without it leading, leading us uh, down the rabbit holes of creating another vicious cycles where we just try to chase sleep and so on. And as a bonus at the end, I want to give you kind of like a tip for, uh, or, you know, like some, some approach that can help you uh, to get this kind of instant unlocking of gratitude. And it's not related to insomnia, but in general in life. Uh, and it is make a kind of an inventory of your life let's say currently what you have right now in your life whether it's like some things or it's people or it's relationship or it's events that happen to you and um, try to imagine it like this so uh, there is like uh, two axes like this and uh, the vertical axis is let's say on the top there's I want this and I don't want this yeah and on the horizontal axis, there is I have this and I don't have this. So there will be like basically four quadrants. The first one would be things that I want and I don't have. So it could be, uh, you know, like our goals or something like that. Then it could be things that I don't want to have, but I have them. There are things that I don't want to have them and I uh, don't have them. So it basically doesn't constitute a problem. But then there is a very interesting quadrant that can give you an instant access to, to gratitude is that I want that and I have that. And this is a beautiful place where we can actually see things that, you know, you make an inventory of all, like everything that, that you have in your life and see that, you know, you take, you take this kind of thing, an object, let's say, or, or a relationship or a person and say, okay, I have that. Do I want that? Do I still want that? And if the answer is yes, 
this is the key this is something that you can uh, un unlock that gratitude while knowing that the thing that you have right now this particular thing it didn't have to happen there could be a reality where you wouldn't have that and knowing that appreciating the nature of things nature of things that are happen randomly happen happening uncontrollably regardless of what what are your intentions and so on and yet it somehow came together in your life this is something and and and, and this is something that you actually want is this like i believe that that's a source of or of almost instant instant gratitude so if this is something you want to practice i i would kind of like uh recommend that because that's what what i actually tried and it really made sense to me then i suddenly stopped seeing things that that uh happened to me uh as something that you know uh as an area of my control that i have them because i control it in reality i don't control them they didn't have to happen that way so and this is the place for appreciation of that. I hope that this video brought some clarity into this topic. And I know there are a lot of like vague things about gratitude and, and um, maybe your experience with gratitude was a different one. Maybe you didn't actually struggle with gratitude and that's okay too. But I find that, for example, for me, gratitude was a tricky path and unlocking, like understanding the source of it was really important. And just to kind of like repeat it once again, uh, the, the source of gratitude in knowing that things that you have things that you want they don't have to happen nothing owes you anything no like the the, the world doesn't owe, owe us anything and it, at first it's a bitter pill or like a, you know hard pill to swallow but at the same time that's the that's the thing that can actually help you feel the true gratitude Thank you for watching until the end and I want to, to say special thanks to my Patreon supporters who made this episode possible and especially to Sarah who was uh, the author of this question and uh, thanks to her question I made this video. I, let me know what you think in comments, uh, give this uh, channel a follow, make, become a subscriber and if you want to you know, uh, support uh, uh, Sleep Talks you can consider checking out my Patreon page and see if uh, there is some support form that uh, you might consider and we'll see you soon, bye!